So it was just announced the fourth largest jackpot in US history, the Mega Million, this guy out of Maine. He just won $1.35 million. So after taxes, that'll be like 700 million. He wishes to remain anonymous. And so as a Christian, when I come across headlines like this, because I don't play the lottery, I just think it's a waste of money. You know, I'd rather just save my money. You know, you're gonna lose it. It's You're not meant to win the lottery. It's definitely not designed for that. So as a Christian, when I see these type of headlines, I'm thinking, first of all, about all the Christians who do play the lottery. So why doesn't God want you to play the lottery? In my opinion, I don't think he does because the Bible says he who gathers little by little increases it. So it's like slow and steady wins the race. You can come into large sums of money as a Christian, but the Bible says that the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. So you have to understand money before you get a large sum like that because the Bible says that an inheritance quickly got will not be blessed in the end. But God does want you to be rich. He does want you to be abundantly supplied. The blessing of the Lord, it makes rich and he has no sorrow with it. Because like a fool, when he gets money like that, he's just going to have money to get and do everything he ever wanted to do without discretion a lot of times. Normally you look at these people and in five, 10 years, they're broke, dead, on drugs, families messed up because that person was a fool when they got money. But if you follow God's principles, you will not be cursed with that much money. You'll be able to give and to be a benefit to other people because the Bible says, given it shall be given unto you. So all you have to do is seek first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. Like Solomon in the Old Testament, when God came to him and said, what shall I give you? Solomon says that I just want wisdom and guidance to guide your people successfully because he was in charge of all of Israel. Well, God was impressed by that. And he says, since you've asked for that and not large sums of money or your enemy's heads or a long life, I'm going to give you that wisdom and that guidance, but also I'm going to give you wealth and more wisdom and blessings that you've ever asked for and a long life. So if you put God's way first, he'll give you all these extra things. So you don't have to gamble it away. You just follow the leadership of the Holy Spirit and he will teach you to profit.